In chapter 40, we look at nursing care of the high-risk newborn. There is so much that goes into the care of a high-risk critical newborn. As a PDICU nurse, I cared for newborns who had either been home and returned or been transferred from another facility. Note that NICUs only accept infants from their own L&D. If they leave, they must return if they need to come back to a PDICU. It is an amazing and challenging sort of nursing. I encourage all students to spend a few hours in the NICU if they have the opportunity, even if you know you will never want to work there. The babies are beyond description. They're so very tiny. When you see a newborn infant at 30 weeks gestation, it is much easier to envision the developmental pro progression. Baths and physical care are so simple. No 500 pound patients to turn, and yet it can still take two nurses to turn a baby if it has an endotracheal tube, an umbilical ar artery catheter, an IV, and maybe other lines. An important issue in pediatrics is the dynamic of the parental and family involvement. When I was a new nurse, 20 years old and not yet a parent, I worked for two years in a PDICU. I had a difficult time dealing with stressed parents. Being a new graduate, I did not have enough experience to inspire the parents with confidence in my abilities. I remember thinking, why are all parents basket cases? And now I'm a parent. My children have spent a little time in a hospital for acute care, and I was a basket case parent, eager for news about my child's condition, anxious that they should receive all the care that they needed as soon as possible. I now understand how all parents feel when their children are ill and vulnerable, and I'm a better nurse because of it. We can't turn you into experts in neonatal care in this class, but we can help you focus on three conditions that are seen in the NICU. RDS, or respiratory distress syndrome, intraventricular hemorrhage, and neck, also known as necrotizing enterocolitis. If you understand the basic pathophysiology of these, the rationale for much of the care given in NICU will be clear. Notice that many of the complications and sequelae from RDS are associated with treatment of the disease, such as pneumothorax and other sorts of pneumos. The tissue of the preterm neonate is so thin and fragile that it's easy to tear the organ linings with excessive pressure. As always, a neutral thermal environment is supremely important. Cold stressing a preemie is a recipe for disaster.